TPC, TPC, Team Perfect Cut, COC Bass Team, TPC. We at it again, y'all. We're here at Lake Russell. Here at Lake Russell, right in Elberton, Georgia, right on the South Carolina line, man. Me and my guy, we at it again, y'all. We got a big tournament tomorrow, so we're here for practice, man. We're going to try to... Uh, figure this lake out so we can try to get us a couple of big ones and make some thing happen, man. Y'all stay tuned and check us out, man. First of all, giving praise to the man upstairs, man, for thanking him for safe travel. We're praying that we have, uh, be safe out here on this water, man, and have a great time, man. Y'all keep us in your prayer. Stay prayed up. What you got for him, baby? Boop. Tune back in. That's why. Oh, yes, sir. Let's get it. We here, Chief. We here. Green water, green bag, green money. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, Chris. All right, Chris. We wrapped up this first day of practice. How did it go, Chief? Went pretty good. At least we know what spots, different location. We'll see what happens tomorrow. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, it's the first day of practice. So, hey, man, we found some good spots, man. We got some great spots. Uh, we're going to try to hit them tomorrow, man, and see if we can get them. Most of the fish are in deep water, man. Actually, man, we had to fish in 32 to 40 feet of water because uh, this is a spotted bass fishery. Uh, tomorrow, our pattern is pretty much we're going to stay to the cleaner water, uh, the lake is real, uh, real chocolate today. So yeah, we're gonna stick to some, to some, to uh, some, some cleaner water tomorrow, and see if we can figure this thing out and catch us some. Man, we caught a few today, but you know, got a few bites, and you know, we're just trying to make it happen, man. Stay tuned, stay tuned. We'll be right back. The Lord will tomorrow. Yes, sir. Vote ten, Ken and Carlos. Vote eleven, Dave and Mike. Vote 12, James and Calvin. Vote 13, Don and Max. Vote 14, Charles and Jerome. Vote 15 is under the weather. Vote 16, Perry and Jarvis. Vote 17, Mike and Mike. That's Mike Murphy and Mike Porter. Vote 18, Quartarius and Chris. Vote 19, Chris Myers. By 20, Camille Cub. It's tournament morning. Y'all stay tuned and check us out. We're about to go get it. We're about to go get it. Y'all stay tuned. you restored upon us. We pray, Heavenly Father, as we go through this tournament, that you allow us to catch some bakers and be safe on this water. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise, Lord. Thank you, God, for all the good things you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Let's get it, baby. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. By the way, go dogs. <laughs> all right. All right. All right, y'all. Update. Update. Boy, it's got the temperature switched up out here. It's pretty cold out here today, man. We trying to figure it out, man. We just running all these main lake points that are in the sun. That's what we're doing today, running all the main lake points that are in the sun. Yesterday, we had some good bites, man, but the pattern just switched tremendously. We got high winds and, hey, we still gonna grind it out, man. We still gonna grind it out because if we having a bad day, everybody probably having a bad day. So we're gonna grind this thing out to the end, man. Y'all stay tuned. Stay tuned. TPC, TPC, be with me, be with me, boy. We done got some good bite, baby. We just hooked one that got stuck in the tree down there in the bottom. Man, I caught two right here 
They went almost 60 some foot of water, boy, but we can't keep the fish alive, man. They so deep that, man, when I brought them up and put them in the live well, man, as soon as they hit, bro, they flapping around on their back, man, and I ain't bring no G juice and no, hey. Hey, man, we're going to keep fishing. We don't know how many points we're going to lose by dead fish, but, man, check them out. Man, oh, man, we hope they survive. Come on, baby. Look at them bellies on them. Just survive, baby. Just survive. Good shot, Cap. It's a large spot. Spot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, so if you look at the graph, we caught majority of our fish on humps. So what we're about to do, if you see where my waypoint is, it's a hump in the middle and it drops off to about 50, 60 feet of water. We're gonna fish that ledge on that hump there and see if we can produce a bite, man. Uh, we've been getting all of our fish in extremely deep water. And then once we get on that ledge, we'll turn around and take the live scope and try to figure out uh, what the fish are doing and the depths that they are and we'll fish them at those depths and see if we can produce a bait. We'll go over some of these baits that we've been catching them on today. A little bit later, once we get ready to come off the water, we'll uh, give you a kind of a, a view of what's going on. This is the hump, it's, it's, uh, it's marked by a pylon out here. So the hump drops off to the right side of me here, probably about 50 to 60 feet. We're gonna fish that and see what we can produce. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy on boy. We had a monster then. Had him on, caught him on a drop shot, man. And that thing was digging so long, man. It took him so long to come up to the top. Whoo, boy. I lost a good one, boy. That was probably going <laughs> to do the deal right there. Couldn't even put you on video, man, because we were fighting for it, getting the net. Uh, boy, we're going to try and get him out of here again, man. We got some more time. But that was a monster. We unlawed two monsters like that, man. People say, how you know it's a monster? It takes too long to get him in. Take too long to get him in. <laughs> <laughs> He's steady digging. A big fish always fight and stay at the bottom, man. He was a monster. We broke him all, but hey, here we are. We're gonna we're gonna keep praying for this thing and get it done. great time on the water there were some people that just really caught them i mean we caught a few uh, we got three keepers so we're going to take them to the way in and we'll let you guys know exactly how we caught them i'll let you know the base that i threw today and uh just let you know how we got them in the boat man those y'all that are bass fishermen you know on any given sunday any given saturday the odds can change man you can go from zero to hundred real quick <laughs> Because uh, that's what happened, man. We didn't get a bite, bro, to after 11.30. But at 11.32, I hit two back-to-back. -back. And so, you know, and then uh, Chris, he caught one. Then I hooked a good one on a drop shot, man. I mean, that thing was digging. It could have been a striper because, you know, personally, I've never had a bass dig that hard. But whatever it was, it broke me off, man. Uh, it was taking drag. I didn't have the GoPro today, y'all, so I didn't get a chance to show y'all some of the catches. But uh, we'll take a couple photos at the end and let you know who really caught them uh, today. There's some great guys here, man. Rod Benders are here. Uh, Jim Austin is here. Uh, Mr. Malik is here. I mean, we got anglers from all over the country here, man. So. You know, this is a great thing, man. So those of you that's on the outside looking in, you really should check out bass fishing, man, and tournament bass fishing. Really, you never know how good you are until you fish against the best. These are some of the best weekend anglers in the country here, man. I mean, we got great payout here. I mean, four, five, six grand. Some of our payouts are 10 grand, man. So, you know, uh, there's some people here that got some awesome boats putting some big money in these boats because we're fishing for big money man so y'all just stay tuned man watch this season man watch me and chris get down this season 
we quite didn't win today, but hey, our day is coming. It's coming. Team Perfect Cuts, TPC, COC Bass Team, Willis Family, we are at it again, y'all. One in there. Down to the way in. 9.45. I wouldn't leave. Cal cut some bull crap. I'd have been all the way around on the wrong people at the right time, at the right time with the wrong people. Hold on. We got a brand new angler hanging out with us, y'all. Tyson Q, Q Willis. No, no, name the team. The team. The name of your team. Team Perfect Cutter. You a bomber? Every time I get to see is a good He cut concrete. You need to get with Don Harris. That's what Don Harris do. Cut concrete, pour concrete. It's all about networking. All right, remember your boat number? Boat 18. He's brand new with us. Let's see what he did on his first rodeo, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see why he said, I'm stepping up with them boys. Three fish, three alive. That's why he stepped up. He said, I can at least beat Malik. Damn. Three fish, three alive. Oh, somebody get my fish. Oh, I can't wait to weigh in behind Charles. <laughs> Hold on for a second. Oh my God, 4.90. All right, y'all, so this weekend was kind of a tough weekend. I really just want to go over some of the baits that we caught them on. Uh, the water temperatures was around, uh, I think it was around 45 one day, then it went up into the 56 degrees. We caught them on this uh, red eye shad here. Uh, this bait is what I caught the two fish on, and they were in approximately about uh, 45 feet of water, man. I just kind of yo-yoed this off the bottom very slow uh, because of the water temperature, and we caught two back-to-back -back on this one. Another bait that was... Uh, special during this tournament was the drop shot. I use a drop shot rig with, uh, this bait is called a Z-Man. I think it's called a Smelt and Green Pumpkin. We were catching them in 60 feet of water with this bait here. And I just kind of threw it on my spinning rig. And last but not least is a shaky head. Uh, the water was kind of muddy in those areas. So I use this black, uh, it's a purple black with, a, with kind of a blue flake in it, a dark color that uh, kind of worked well in the muddy water areas. This bait worked tremendous, uh, but the fish were in almost 60 feet of water, man. So we had a tough time, but we caught a few. Uh, for the tournament purposes, uh, it, it didn't take much to win. I think it was only 13 pounds that won the tournament. Uh, we caught only three fish to uh, weigh in at the weigh-in, but we had a great time. First of all, we just want to let you guys know Hey, please keep supporting the channel. Please keep supporting the channel. Thank you for your support. And also, please share these videos with all your families and your friends. Thank you.